Hello everyone, welcome to IntelliPath. In today's video, I'll be talking about highest paying IT skills to learn. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. So the agenda for today's video will be the following subtopics. Firstly, I'll be talking about what does IT refer to exactly. Next, I'll be talking about hard skills. I'll be defining what hard skills are and giving a list of uh, examples and next I'll be talking about soft skills and uh, finally I'll be talking about how to align your skills to a particular job role. So uh, the end goal of learning any skill is to get a job and earn money, right? What does IT refer to? Now let us look at the formal definition of IT. IT or information technology refers to the use of computers to collect, store or manipulate data. This term is commonly used in the fields of business and computing. So as the formal definition goes, uh, it can cover anything from a computer help technician to a software developer. Now let us see some of the different IT jobs. Computer programmer, web developer, support specialist, IT technician, network engineer, database administrator, software engineer, computer scientist, data scientist, IT security specialist. Every corporation from uh, tech companies to colleges and universities now has a dedicated IT department to handle communications and networking. The skills required in IT can be broadly divided into two types, hard skills and soft skills. Now let us take a look at uh, hard skills. Hard skills are job specific abilities or knowledge learned through education, hands on experience or training. In practice, hard skills are either the technical skills needed to perform a certain job or a general set of expertise such as project management. Here is a list of hard skills that are expected in the current job market. So if you learn Python programming and data visualization, so you can get uh, a job as a data scientist. And uh, if you learn computer networking and uh, data storage, basically how computers are uh, connected and how the cloud works. So you can get into cloud architect role. And if you learn machine uh, learning, ML, uh, its algorithms and uh, artificial intelligence, neural networks and all that uh, trending technologies related to machine learning as well as that uh, with all of those skills if you have statistics uh, skills from mathematics you can become a data analyst and if you know cryptography and uh, how to crack uh, passwords and all that uh, white hat hacking stuff you can become a cyber security engineer and if you know wireframing and prototyping uh, these are two hard skills that are uh, required for a ui ux designer if you know front-end technologies, back-end technologies and APIs, uh, you can become a full-stack developer. That is, any uh, software uh, or an application basically boils down to three main parts that is a front-end, a back-end and an API. So basically data has to move through front-end and back-end, right? So this is taken care of by APIs. So if you know all these three related uh, parts or fields together you can become a full stack developer and if you know business intelligence bi and research and analysis skills as well as marketing skills tied together you can become a product manager and if you know social media advertising email marketing web analytics you can become a digital marketing manager and if you know about cryptocurrencies uh, that are the new type of uh, digital currencies that have come out and we all saw the raise in uh, 2017 so if you know about cryptocurrencies and uh, digital signatures and IoT networks, you can become a blockchain developer. Just a quick info guys, if you are looking for end-to-end -end training of top training technologies, then we have a good news for you. IntelliPath provides online training programs on latest technologies in collaboration with world's top universities and MNCs. We also provide job assistance and interview preparation. The website link is given in the description below. Now let's continue with the session. And let's move on to soft skills. Soft skills are character traits, personal attributes and other non-technical abilities that help you work and communicate with other people. Some soft skills might 
might uh, you might have to study and uh, learn and others might come to you naturally that is uh, while growing up uh, you might have learned some soft skills naturally along the way and uh, some of the soft skills might have to be forcefully learned that is depending on your uh, domain or whichever area of expertise you are working in you may have to learn those uh, particular soft skills listening communication and delegation are all some examples of soft skills here are some of the most important soft skills that you need to develop in order for you to get more compensation time management teamwork communication adaptability ability to perform under pressure innovation listening delegation creativity work ethic leadership and finally problem solving all right now let's move on to the next topic aligning your skills to a particular job role now here i'll be giving us uh, eight steps or uh, eight uh, different steps to take uh, when you're looking for a job and how to align your already existing skills to land that uh, job make a list of your own skills write down all the skills you have your hard skills as well as your soft skills the next step is to list your accomplishment and the skills you used to achieve them let's say you have an accomplishment uh, that is you helped organize an event in your uh, company or in your uh, school so you need to mention all the skills that you used to achieve them whether it be hard skills or soft skills and you need to measure these achievements with quantifiable metrics quantifiable here means attaching a number to your achievement that is i'll give you a scenario suppose you run a marketing campaign in your uh, company or your school and you bring in a couple of uh, subscribers let's say you bought in 500 subscribers by running that campaign so 500 here uh, attracts your potential employers and it might help you in landing the job you want so remember guys always quantify or put a number to your achievements the next step is to focus your job search on relevant roles of interest that is let's say if you want to become a front end developer you need to only focus your search on front end development and its related technologies the next step is to break down the job description into a list of skills whenever you go into job portals like uh, glassdoor indeed or uh, linkedin uh, you see a particular job description of the job listing that you like in your favorite company so you need to read that job description and break that uh, jd into a list of skills and uh, look at what you have uh, what you need to improve upon and if you want to learn a new skill that uh, they are uh, requiring all that stuff you need to break it down and next you need to consider your resumes format Uh, whether it should be functional or uh, chronological depending upon the company and your uh, experience you need to pick that up and finally you need to use industry terminology industry likes to use uh, their own terminology and jargon so if you use uh, all those fancy words let's call it in your resume it might attract your potential uh, hr or uh, hiring managers and uh, you might get an interview out of it so make sure you use industry terminology Thank Thank you for watching till the end guys just a quick info guys if you are looking for end to end training of top training technologies then we have a good news for you intellipad provides online training programs on latest technologies in collaboration with world's top universities and mnc's we also provide job assistance and interview preparation the website link is given in the description below